Alright, so I haven't gotten to paint for a week or so, or better, and when I did, I just about used up my paint, so I don't have a lot on here, but we've gotten several people, it's crazy, uh, that they've all come at kind of at the same time asking what I do about paint drying out on my palette. So I've been doing basically the same thing for 30 years. I put big piles of paint out, in fact, let me show you the kind of pile that I'm talking about here, since I'm out of blue over here. I, uh, when I come out each day, I check to see if my paints are in good shape. I scrape them off, and this has been long enough, I'm not even going to try to salvage this one. But I'll scrape it off like that, and try to get any little chunks that are there so it doesn't get in my stuff. And I put out a big pile of paint, like that. And when I have that kind of a pile, I'm not worried about, when I'm painting, running out of paint. So that I just get little teeny dabs and then I'm all timid and and reserved in the way that I'm mixing. With that, I'm not afraid to grab a bunch of it if I need to and make big piles of paint on my palette. So that also makes it easier when I come in the next day. So if I go for a night, sometimes it'll it'll dry over in a night, but usually it takes a couple of nights. So let's say it's the weekend. I've painted on Saturday night, I don't work on Sunday. So I come in Monday morning and my paint is dried to the touch. Well, usually, even if it's dry to the touch, that mean, doesn't mean that it's dried all the way through. Oil paint is slow dryer, so it takes a little while. So something like my uh, orange over here, these cadmium colors, they usually take a long time to dry out. I didn't actually use much of the cadmium, but I'll take and go all the way around on the bottom of it and get the, the skin disattached from my palette and then I come on, the, on an edge of it and squeeze the paint like that so I get down to the pile. And this pile is a little older than what I'd normally do with it, but that gives you the idea of what I do. And then I have my pile of paint. So yeah, I had the skin that got wasted, but it's really, it's thin and it's really not that much of it. I mean, it looks like it, I guess it is a little bit of it. But overall, considering that's probably a week or two because I didn't use the orange the last time I really had a painting session, probably a couple of weeks worth. I still have paint there that's very nice to work with. See, it's nice and still fluid, very fluid to work with. So I'm not really wasting any paint. That's why I don't worry anymore. I tried back in the 90s, sticking my, having it on a, a little portable palette, uh, like one of those butcher tray uh, enamel palettes. I could put it in my freezer. Then I'd take it out and it would be gummy and it would take forever to thaw. Uh, well, this is a waste of my time. I just want to get right to painting. This allows me to get right to painting. And if I, if I take, and it's just a small little pile like this where there's not enough there to even worry about, I just scrape it off like that, quick and easy, and put new paint down. And I get bigger piles so that I don't, so that when I do come in the next day and have to scrape it off, there's plenty of stuff to work with. And easy peasy. Uh, I don't mess with any systems. I've been doing this forever and I love that each each color is in its spot. You can see that uh, you can we, even if I come in I know exactly what color to put down. Um, it's always consistent. It, it becomes a, a memory system where I don't have to think about where my colors are. I just grab my color and I can mix with it. And it's second nature when I'm painting. So what I'm really focusing on is the painting itself. So there you go. Just scrape just make sure that when you're doing it, you go all the way around the color on the very bottom, getting that skin so it's disattached. And then I just go right here and I'm just pushing the, uh, the paint that's still fluid out from underneath that skin. And I pull the skin away from that pile. And then I can just get rid of that little, see how that's, that skin is really thin. And then if I want, I can get the pile back together or whatever, but basically that's it. So there you go. That's how I, uh, I de-skin my paints when I'm getting ready to paint again the next day. So, have fun. Happy painting. Talk to you later.